On this episode, we're going to talk about leveraging your nine to five skills to create your own empire. If you're in leadership, you're being paid thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably to lead a team of other implementers of an asset, a service, a product. That is a skill. If you're a leader and you can communicate effectively to lead hundreds and thousands of people, you're a thought leader. Why can't you do it yourself? If you're a project manager, you have managerial skills. There's companies out there that pay you to manage their teams, their assets. Think about that. There's companies that pay you for your skills and they have been paying you for years. You have a successful track record of being able to lead, manage, or even implement at some capacity, right? So just think about that. Now it's time to do it for yourself, right? I know it might be scary. Oh, I can't do it. Or you're caught up in the rat race. You're caught up in the corporate cycle. When you think about it and you step back, well, yes, you can do it. Yes, you've been leading. Yes, you received recognition for managing a team, leading a team, being a, a VP of a delivery sales, uh, a CEO, a COO, a chief marketing. You can do this for yourself, right? So my job is to empower you, but also to show you that it's doable. And the second point I want to make is using your expertise uh, to solve problems for, you know, your audience. That's how you're able to, to leverage your nine to five skills. So one, you need to be able to identify your skills Two, you need to be able to solve problems for if you're content marketing, like I'm doing right here, I'm letting people know that, Hey, if you have a nine to five, five to 10 years, and you're in a leadership role, or you're really, really good at what you do, you need to monetize your own skills. That's essentially what my content is about. I've been able to see gaps. I've been able to see within my network and people I've coached, they're at that point of, man, I've been doing this for five to 10 years. I wish I had more time. I wish I had more flexibility. I wish I can take vacations when I want to. I, I just wish that my income was automated instead of having to have the pressures of the financial climate that we're in. It's, it's up and down like roller coasters. We want to be able to have predictable income, the flexibility we want to drop off our kids to school. That's what we want. And that's what my clients want. And I'm sure that's what you want because you're watching this video or you're listening to it on Apple or Spotify. The next main point that I want to make is you have to position yourself. You position yourself in being a thought leader in a specific niche by doing it repetitively. People should be able to uh, go to your YouTube or your Apple or Spotify and be able to predict when your videos or your content is going to be out. It should be predictable. And then once you do that over time, you're going to gather a tribe where people like, trust you, and they know you, right? They like, trust you, and they know you. Um, so you want to do that. That's how you get there. So if you've been in corporate, I know like the social media thing is new. Maybe you listen to podcasts. Maybe you don't. Maybe you listen to on your your commute or on your way to the gym, but you didn't know it was possible for you. But I'm here to tell you it is possible for you and the time is now. And then how are you going to back up everything? So you're going to, again, we're going to go back. We're going to identify your skills. Whatever your skills are, you're going to be able to solve problems for your audience. Let them know that you're the thought leader, that you're the expert, who you are, so they can like, trust, and know you. And then you are going to uh, position yourself as, you know, the leader in that niche. That's what you're going to do automatically because your content is going to be predictable and people can expect certain times a week to, to have that content, to have that information, to have that newsletter, to have the podcast, right? Uh, that's one of the ways to get in this online digital arena is, especially when you're in that transition, side note, is a podcast, right? So if you're wanting to know how to do that, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have limited space, but I'm currently working with executives doing that same thing, leveraging their skills and their expertise and transitioning them, having a strategic plan to start working now while they have the position that they have, just so that 
uh, both parties, meaning the company that they work for and their personal brand can coexist and flourish together. And when it's time to part ways, it's gonna part ways. So if you guys are interested in working with me, fill out the form below and let's see if it's a good fit. If it's not the right time, then reach out to me down the road and maybe it's a good time then. I only have limited time and space to work with people who are qualified and ready. So here are some actionable steps that you need to take uh, to start getting noticed and eventually, you know, gather a tribe, a following and to monetize your skills. One thing you can do, right? You need to list out your strengths. That's, that's easy. Like what do people say about you consistently? Is it true? Don't, don't have any emotions. Try not to have emotions about this, but listen to them because it's true. And then identify three key skills from your corporate role that are transferable in how you want to help your target audience. Like how do you want to come across in social media? Uh, how do you want to, what's going to be the easiest way to, for you to transition into the digital marketing space into your online presence. Um, just, just make it simple, do whatever feels comfortable and that you feel that you can do consistently on a regular basis. Okay. And then, you know, what's your strengths? What is your weaknesses? What are the opportunities? What are the threats to those? Uh, just so you can understand how you're going to position yourself to shine. And then I will start writing. I, okay. This is perfect. The last one I want to make the actionable steps. Start writing a, a, a weekly blog. That's easy. You can start being more active on LinkedIn, you know, starting a podcast. That's the easiest way. Uh, if you have a, a boss or, you know, leadership that are kind of like, you know, it's taboo for you to, uh, to create content because that's where, where people are. So if you can, if you can stick with something consistently and do that to, to where it's not going to, uh, interfere with your performance or your leadership, start writing blogging, posting on LinkedIn, uh, you can start an audio only podcast and it's super, super easy. And so those are the takeaways from today's video. Uh, you need to leverage your nine to five skills, not next year. You need to start now. And if you want to start now, come and let your boy. Make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment below. Let me know what your nine to five skills are. And do you suffer from imposter syndrome? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on.